Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. My name is Deanna. I hope you all are doing well. Um, yeah, so I was recording your video and my ring light just died. I'm like, what? So I'm going to have to get another one, but we're going to keep it moving with this candle here and see what energy is coming in for the Virgos watching this. What do you need to know? Woo! Two of Cups. Wow. Who are you guys going to be in a relationship with? That's nice energy. Okay. So, um, yeah, whoever you're feeling, I mean, they're feeling you too with the two of cups. Two of cups talks about mutual love. If this is work, then, um, then it's a, uh, it's a, a mutually beneficial partnership. Okay. So some of you guys could be even making business partners as well. Okay. We have the two of pentacles here. So a little bit of, um, indecision some of you guys could be seeing two 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 Woo, we got the tower here gosh what is that about hold on we're gonna have to clarify all this clarify the two of cups for the virgos watching this please the six of wands yeah someone's been watching you okay somebody you're dealing with somebody that does have a lot of pride okay there's a lot of ego going on but this is somebody that is definitely passionate about you. They want to make things work. They might not know how to, they might be in their pride and not communicating this, but it's like, you see how he's creeping up on her? It's like they're trying to find a way back to you and you are an earth sign. This is your energy here too with the two of pentacles. And some of you guys could like not, you know, you could be unsure about whether or not you want to give this person any of your time or affections because on one side it's a relationship, on the other side is bringing it down with the tower card because you're not sure about, you know, the stability with this person, whether or not they're for real or not, okay? Whether or not they've let something else go for some of you or someone else, someone or something go, okay? Let's go ahead and see here. Okay, yeah, so this flew over there. This was the Page of Wands in reverse. So some of you guys are, are probably not even really speaking with this person right now. Or if you are, maybe you feel like the communication is kind of um, inconsistent. You could feel like the conversations haven't been good news, haven't been going as planned. <laughs> okay, some of you guys are just not speaking at all with the page of wands in reverse. Um, Ace of Cups, though, it's like this person loves you, though. It's like they want a new start. Um, some of you guys could feel like, uh, well... Just to let you know with the Ace of Cups here, you guys do have new love that is coming in. But maybe you guys are wondering if this person is connecting with somebody else as well too. But even so, why is the Tower here for the Virgos? That's what we really need to know. Why is the Tower here? Scorpionic energy. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Wow, with the Queen of Cups here, okay? Some of you guys could have a water moon or a water rising or a water Venus. Um, so what I'm getting here is that there could be some type of unexpected changes when it comes to work for some of you guys. There could be um, an unexpected job opportunity or there could be an unexpected ending as well. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like with the Tower and the Three of Pentacles here, I feel it's an energy of this person trying to come in, trying to say, oh, let's make a, you know, let's, let's build things as friends. Okay. Whatever they have to say to try to get back in your energy is what I'm getting. Queen of Cups here. This person has a lot of love for you. I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you're connecting with someone where their job just kind of ended. Maybe they were just having some problems or complications with somebody at their job and it ended. Okay, so right now they don't want to speak with you because maybe their money isn't right, okay? Um, you also could be dealing with somebody. Let's keep going. What's going on for Virgo here? What's going on? Yeah, five of swords. I don't know. I think the world card. Yeah, I feel like you guys are closing out this cycle with this person. You're closing out a karmic cycle, okay? I feel like you're done with any type of mind games, any type of manipulation. I feel like there's a lot of people you're done with just in general <laughs> is what I'm getting. I feel like you're not... Um, you know, you're not taking any mess from anyone is what I'm getting. I feel like there is success here. 
I feel like if there is something that you've been trying and it hasn't really gotten off the ground, I feel like give it up, you know, try, just try to do it differently and it'll work out. The Tower and the Three of Pentacles, please, for Virgos watching this. What is this about? What is this? The Chariot in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's like something is not moving forward. Something is a burden. Yeah, King of Cups, right? We have the Queen, now we have the King of Cups. It's like... Your your counterpart, maybe they're struggling, maybe they're having transportation issues, maybe there's a problem with distance between you both. What's the Ten of Wands about? Yeah, the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person, it's like they have so many, so many regrets that it's weighing heavily on them is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like this person wants a new start, wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, they want to come in passionately with the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. But it's like some of you guys could be ignoring this person. <laughs> you're like, I've had enough. Yeah, look at you, Queen of Pentacles. You're like, I've had enough. Or you're like, go back to that person you're living with. Or you're like, or go back to whoever you're talking to. Or, you know, go back to listening to, you know, your friends. Or listening to, you know, I don't know, mom or sister that has, a you know, an opinion about me. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just not having it is what I'm getting. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, yeah, look at this. Empress, Page of Swords, and the Magician. Okay, somebody is really, um, someone is really watching you. It's like they want to manifest communication from you. They're keeping up with you. They're watching you online. I mean, they want to grow and expand with you with the Empress card here. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant and having a son with the Page of Swords. So just put that out there for you. Um, yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like there could have very well been some type of other female figure that was meddling in your connection with this person. Okay. And so there's some, so, so right now it's like, yeah, there's some type of sacrifice that needs to be made with the hangman. Okay. Before this person can take action, Aries, Leo, Sag energy to heal things with the star card. And this is part of their karmic lesson. Okay. Not making excuses, just doing what needs to be done, okay? Some of you guys, they need to apologize or they need to come through with what they say they're going to do. Um, yeah, for you guys to have this new beginning. And it, Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's a proposal. Yeah, proposal for marriage for some of you guys. This person, it's like they need, they're slowly, um, they're slowly moving because they know they need to work towards that. Or somebody could even be married within this type of connection and that's something they need to let go. So just take it how it resonates, but... Um, I really feel this person wants to reunite with you with the three of cups, but they don't want the drama. Okay. They don't want any smoke. <laughs> they don't want you upset with them either is what I'm getting because they know they need to get it together. Um, as far as work goes though, with the queen of pentacles coming out, even if things are bumpy for a while, I feel like they are going to still pick back up. You're still going to be stable and abundant. You have the empress card here, the page of swords. You could be learning new things. Okay. Some of you guys, um, you know, you could be getting into manifestations. You could be getting into money manifestations. Um, I'm seeing that looking at the green here. Some of you guys could be doing heart chakra meditations. Um, you could be burning, you know, bay leaves to help with your finances. Some of you guys could be listening to like killing frequencies, frequencies of certain, um, of certain tones to help you with targeting healing of different chakras. Or you're thinking about getting into yoga for some of you. Yeah, this person really wants to reunite with the Three of Cups. That keeps coming out. This person, they love your perfume. Yeah, this person, they feel like you are theirs, okay? I'm getting the whole your mind energy from this here, okay? I feel like they feel like safe or calm in your presence. I feel like when they're not communicating with you, they feel like something's wrong is what I'm getting, okay? They feel like... um like you're their anchor, like you hold them down, like you keep them stable and solid. You give them, you, you help to give them hope and perspective for the future is what I'm getting with the full card here. I feel like this person, it's like they want to just be free of whatever has been holding them back, not just from you, but just in their life in general. I feel like, you know, they want to turn a new leaf with the full card. They could have even act, been acting foolish in the past, right? You see that snake down there? I feel like there could have been some type of deception. There's people around this person that they can't really trust is what I'm getting. What else is going on? Yeah. I feel like this person feels like you can um, see right through them with the high priestess card. They feel like you're very intuitive. They feel like, you know, you're silent. They don't know exactly what you're thinking. But at the same time, they feel like, you know, 
um, you intuitively know what's going on with them for some of you. I feel like this person is trying to study you. They're trying to see what else to do, you know, to get back into your good graces is what I'm hearing. And then we have the devil energy here, you know, so um, this person is very passionate about you. But this person, you know, they could very well suffer from materialism or they could suffer from having, you know, bad, you know, boundaries with other people drinking drugs codependency i feel there is something i feel like they're planning something secretly when it comes to you like they're trying to strategize and plan a way to come back to you is what i'm getting um and it's like they don't but at the same time it's like they don't even know they don't know if they're fully ready for a relationship yeah we have the death card here i feel like they don't want to do things the same way that they did them before with the death card okay i feel like they know that there's a transformation that needs to happen um i feel like this person's in some type of you know battle some type of internal battle um yeah for some of you guys they definitely are ending a job or changing something you're gonna get news about that yeah, they want to come back around and talk to you with the four of swords. They don't want it to come out in reverse. They're restless. They're restless to talk with you, to get information through to you. Um, and they it's like they want you to listen. You see how he's holding her mouth? It's like they want you guys to really listen to what they have to say. And I feel like a lot of you guys are like, well, I don't know if I can even believe what you're saying, you know, from the lies that you've told in the past or the inconsistency, right? And, um... Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. You guys were like, look, in the beginning, I thought you were a wish fulfillment. Now I'm just feeling drained with the nine of cups in reverse. Some of you guys could feel like they need to give up drinking or they need to, you know, give up, you know, something or someone has to change. And I feel like that's why that tower moment is there because it's going to come down. Yeah, the page of cups. It's like um, they're struggling. Look how he's struggling. He's struggling with what to write, to say, to communicate. You. I mean, they might need to clear their throat chakra. That could very well be blocked. Okay, I feel like you see that full moon there. The full moon that we just had. Of course, this is timeless, but just take it as it goes. With the moon here, that's feminine energy. I feel like they could have um, feminine wounds that they need to heal within themselves. A distorted, a distorted perception of the feminine energies. And that could very well be because of their dynamic with their own mother figure. And, you know, and whatever, you know, childhood wounds that they received that way. But I feel like this person, it's like they want to be vulnerable with you, but at the same time, they're still very guarded or they're keeping secrets with the black cat here. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, uh, they don't feel like they have a lot to offer you right now. I feel like they're really trying to get their balance and, he and heal, if anything, is what they're trying to do. Yeah, because ultimately they want to travel and communicate towards you, whoever this is, okay? First card out is the strongest. The first card out was the Two of Cups. So for a lot of you, this is a person you've either been in a relationship with or you've, are, you've known for a considerable amount of time or, you know, this is someone that you met and you're just clicking with. But they have all these other things that's going on with them. But I do feel like with the Eight of Wands here, they want there to be forward movement. And they want to travel to see you. They want to communicate. Um, yeah, and, and I, they're not really speaking this right now. But this is something that they're heavily thinking about. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. I really hope it resonated. If so, let me know. Um, and feel free to subscribe. It'll help my small channel to grow and help you to see when I upload for your other placements. Namaste.